r slash ask reddit dear reddit what is your weirdest dream nightmare you've ever had my first memory was a nightmare i had when i was around five i remember it vividly and i have no idea why it scared me so much i look back and laugh at it because it is so weird anyways my friends and i were all playing in my childhood home then there was a knock at the door my friend went to open it and there was barney at the door my friend invited him in but every time he looked at me he had evil red eyes no one else noticed this eventually barney tried to get everyone outside i followed hesitantly and as soon as i stepped outside i saw that triceratops character charging everyone with her horns and had glowing red eyes that was when i realized they were out for blood i tried to get everyone to run but they wouldn't listen I watched Barney and the Triceratops take down my younger brother, and that's when I woke up. Dude a purple T-Rex and a yellow Triceratops with red eyes was leading you outside to murder you. How the hell is that not scary? Two weird dreams. 20 years from now, my future wife and I buy my former high school and turn it into a house. Had a wife in the military, either deployed or deceased, and around 10-12 children. I told these two dreams to my friend and he stitched them together to form what he calls the prophecy. Dude, your dream wife is a ducking badass for having 10 children while on active duty military. I had this reoccurring dream. I'm in my town center and I see a huge mushroom cloud exploding in the distance. It's fast approaching and I jump into the fountain in the last second since I'm extremely slow. As I go in I can see the flames and destruction from underwater and I emerge to see everything destroyed. I'm having this dream since I was 5-6 years old and it gets me every time. I'm 24. I was jetpacking around my hometown and this one a-hole from there was trying to kill me. He crashed a ship by me and my jetpack stopped working. So of course I went back in time and asked some random nude jogger to run after him when he landed. Being chased by the stay puffed marshmallow man with the cast of Ikali. Spencer was popping off on that turret though. Jesus take the wheel. Satan get behind me. Buddha. Man the .50 cow. Walking into a castle and ending up in a giant room full of different breads. Guess I was craving bread. Let's get this bread. Tony Stark fighting the Power Rangers. He was not wearing his helmet but was still able to kill wound a few of them until I asked him where his helmet was. And then Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White and Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight. After my grandmother died, she would appear to me at night. Sitting alongside my bed in the rocking chair that she had willed me. It didn't feel like a dream. It seemed vividly real. She and I would talk about many things. Some of which we never discussed when she had been alive. I would ask questions. And she'd give clear answers. These nightly episodes went on for weeks after her death. When they finally stopped. I was sad that she no longer appeared. I dreamt I was a reporter chasing a story on the AIDS virus. I was alone on some deserted boardwalk, when a woman suddenly approached me and said here's your story, and tried stabbing me with a syringe. We fought and struggled and I woke up punching my wall in a cold sweat. I once dreamed that I was being hunted by a human sized pigeon. I woke up terrified xd. The first night we got my pet cat when I was a little girl I dreamt for two nights she would stop at nothing to kill me. She even killed my mother in one of my dreams. There were no gory details thank goodness. But I vividly remember the cat sitting on my mother's corpse saying, Your mother is no help to you now. I really loved the cat at the time. So I'm not sure where this came from. Overslept once because I had a dream that I was in a church and soldier boy was being baptized. I was being chased by someone and Plankton saved me. This will probably get buried. But I once dreamed Peppa Pig had died of swine flu and I was genuinely sad. I was a child, and had just watched The Predator, with Schwarzenegger, in my dream. The Predator was hunting me, he finally caught me, wedged the spear where my arm was joined to my body, and pushed on it so as to dislodge my arm. I woke up with my arm completely flabby and non-functional for the next 30 minutes. Real life physical feelings can translate into dreams easily. I've had dreams where my arm was being crushed, laying on it weird in my sleep and cut off circulation. Dreams where I was in a gallows. Neck pain. Someone was choking me. Sore throat. And ants crawling on my feet. Athlete's footage. 
one I dreamt I was chopping meat off of meat hooks with butter knives and feeding it to robotic heads. There were no bodies, just the heads chomping down on the meat I threw to them. And while doing that I was also talking to an aristocratic cockroach called Mr. Johnson, who I knew was an aristocrat because he was wearing a tuxedo, a monocle, and was fat. He had a deep, raspy kind of voice, and I don't recall our conversation. However at one point he said he had to go, and I asked, but Mr. Johnson, won't you stay for dinner, semicolon to which he replied, no, and you won't either, semicolon and then I woke up, one or two minutes before my alarm rang, Mr. Johnson became a joke among my group of friends, and a supervillain alongside Malpig, the evil swine. I've had a dream where I was walking in the corridor of my apartment at night. I spot an old woman with a cloth tied around her head to protect herself from the chilling cold. She was at the end of the corridor. I turn and look at her and she looks up at me and drops her walking stick. Her eyes were black and her mouth twisted into a snarl. I was frozen to the spot. She started ducking sprinting towards me and I didn't hesitate to nope the duck out of there. I was extremely slow at running in the dream and the corridor never seemed to end. I turned around while running and the old woman was inches from my face but was now smiling. She told me to stop and look at her. She was just about to say something when I woke up. It was 8.47 in the morning and my parents were in my room. Packing. My mum was ironing out my clothes. We were moving to India from Singapore that day. It was 2012 and I was 11. When we went to our rented room for the time being in India. I shit you not. The room number was 847. This one time at a sleepover when I was like 8. I woke up from a dream where my and my friend were running through a white tunnel and right as I got to the end. I woke up. I saw the same friend sitting up. And I asked him if he was able to sleep. Because I thought he was awake all night. He said he just woke up from a dream that he described as the same as mine. I remember one that I infiltrated a villain meeting and there were many villains there. It was in the style of My Hero Academia. So subtitles appeared each time a character was introduced, summarizing their power. When it was time, an old woman, holding a toilet under her arm entered in the room, followed by two henchmen. Her subtitle, Toilet Queen. She has a toilet. For some reason the other villains were terrified of her. Imagine all the other villains having long descriptions of her power and then arrives a villain, who's an old lady holding a toilet. Her power is that she has a toilet and everyone freaks out. Also, there was that time I saw in a magazine a new season of Dragon Ball Super, announcing the new villain, a female Saiyajin named Keela. Her notes said she was a Saiyajin and a Marxist. I work at a zoo and we had crazy tigers. They have since been sent to a big cat sanctuary because they never really adjusted well to our location. But they used to sneak and ambush you when walking by their enclosure. No joke you are minding your business and they would rush and pounce at the fence in full kill mode and scare the ever living shit out of you. The tigers are gone and in their new home. But there's a number of us that still have tiger nightmares. I had a dream a couple of hours ago about a man named Lewis that moved to Australia from America after years of abuse from his father towards him and his sisters. One of his sisters passed away. It felt so real and I felt such a strong connection. I tried looking it all up but alas couldn't find anything because it wasn't real. It's got me really ducked up to be honest. I contacted this person and we connected and I loved him. But it was just a dream. Then I woke up back to this depressing lonely reality getting lost from Disneyland and then led back through the sewers by a group of Minecraft villagers was pretty surreal. Being in a completely white room with no perceivable door or windows, around the entire room about 3 inches from the ceiling is a model train track that comes into the room through a small tunnel from one wall, wraps the whole room and then returns into a tunnel at the opposite side of the first wall. It is also completely white. On this track comes a small white model tank. Smoking from its barrel the entire time it travels round the room. I get an anxious feeling of displacement. Like the odd sensation you get if you take your thumb and push it as far as it will reach between your pointer and middle finger. I don't know why that specific action makes me get the same feeling of displacement. But it's the closest thing to it that I've been able to find out in the waking world. I have this dream around 5-6 times a year. And thus has been happening for more than 10 years now. I have no idea why. Was having sex with someone. 
was into it, but I couldn't see their face. Somehow they wouldn't turn around to face me, continued on until finally I pulled out, got around them and pushed them on their back and it was my brother's face on a woman's body, immediately woke up and could not fall back asleep with my mind filled with terror and disgust, most what the duck dream ever. I was sat on a bench very late at night with a few of my friends, we weren't talking or anything, then it sort of zoomed out so I was watching from very far away then one of those semi-sphere cameras like detached from the building it was connected to and it was connected to this like extending metal pole, and then the camera rushed super fast into my face, the me that was sat on the bench, and I woke up. I was walking down hanging bridge with my hiking friends until it collapsed and we all fell to river beneath. I survived and I swam to the land and noticed that there is small house there. I was going to ask help there but when I opened the house door I realized that it was sauna and there was demon baby inside of it and that baby killed me. Weird as duck. I once had a dream where I was walking through an incredibly vivid but unfamiliar city. During the dream I was quite intent on examining my surroundings and accidentally walked onto the street where I ended up getting hit by a car and I woke up. Fast forward to a few days later and we were on a road trip. We stopped for lunch at a little town near Canberra. After getting out of the car I started looking around and I got some deja vu vibes. It looked and felt eerily similar to my dream. For the next few minutes I was running through what I could remember of the dream and comparing it to the town. Unbeknownst to me I had started wandering onto the road during my contemplations. At this point I reached the part of my dream where I got hit and I suddenly just decided to stop walking. A car sped past maybe a step away from me. Had me rattled but I was alright. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.